was a big boy. Good, good, good. Here, watch this. I am about to make an unpopular decision. As always, it seems to be these days, you trigger anybody by any decision you make. You can never make people happy. So make yourself happy, and then it seems to be a winning combo, right? So here's the deal, folks. I have had Primal RC Raminator trucks in the past. In fact, I was the first YouTube channel to show off Primal RC Raminator trucks and help launch them into the sky. So. One of the things that people always said was, oh, it's too slow, you know, gas power. Even when I had the 80cc engine in there, people don't really grasp the concept of how large this truck is. It's the size of a coffee table. Um, but you can tell people that all day long until you're blue in the face. Show them it sitting without a body on a table beside a full-size ironing board, right? Then you can see what the hell I'm talking about. Now, if you haven't seen this truck yet and you're new to my channel, welcome, Primal RC Raminator. You should check it out. Brand new V3 versions just hit the market near the time of this filming. I'll leave a link in the video description box down below where it costs well over $3,000. Um, don't get scammed by the uh, ads that you might see out there offering it for $100 or less because you're literally going to lose your money. Uh, we've done lots of PSA uh, videos about that public service announcements to warn you guys, but people get scammed these days. And if you're on the internet and you're not prepared to do your research, then you kind of deserve to get scammed because, um, yeah, that's what you got to do these days, be in the know. But what I'm doing today is I'm actually going the opposite way with my Primal RC Raminators. I want to change the whole way I use these gas one-fifth scale monster trucks. In fact, I even put an electric conversion in in the last video, if you didn't see it, by Fine Designs. And it is a fine design indeed. In fact, in the electric conversion, you'll see here, I replaced out the water, because this is a water cooling system with some uh, antifreeze. In the last video, people were suggesting antifreeze. They kind of missed that I already had put it on the screen, suggesting that I was going to be putting it in there. Um, but yeah, you're hearing me right. This is a water-cooled electric system. This is a 500 kV brushless motor on the inside that has a pump that actually circulates just like a computer. It circulates a cooling system just like a radiator you could say all the way through to the ESC and through the motor jacket. Up here I've upgraded my batteries to 130 C discharge, um, 7500 4S lipo packs. So the actual discharge on these being at 130 C burst rating is massive and you would think he is going for straight up launching it again but I am not. I have spent a ridiculous amount of money on these trucks. Just this one sitting on my bench right now, in Canadian dollars, is about six grand. So, you, uh, is it six grand? Yeah, so about five grand US for you guys, uh, including shipping, including the, uh, the electric conversion, including the batteries, which were absolutely ridiculous in cost. You're looking at almost $400 for those. Plus, check out these insane uh, Reefs RC uh, servos that I brought in. Ba-bam, look at this. The Beast 2000, I'm going to put in the video description box below all the actual specs on the back. This actually has 2,000 ounces of torque. Why is that different from the Primal RC uh, Mega Torque Servo? It's a 100 kilogram uh, high torque mega uh, or mega torque high voltage servos that are in there. This is seven point waterproof. That is important to me when I'm making it into a trail truck because with all the creeks and all the stuff I have on my property, I want to be able to do a slow crawl and do it properly where if I drop a tire down into the mud or if I drop a tire down into the water, I'm not actually going to be destroying it. But these servos servos are not cheap. They are among the best. I stand by Reefs RC servos I have since the very beginning of them coming out. I don't have Reefs RC servos burn out on me. Don't be surprised. It's super ridiculously expensive for these servos, but with being completely waterproof, I am in. Now, yes, you could argue that you could take some conformal coating or liquid tape or whatever you want and get in and spray the board. You can do that. You can even put marine grease in there. I've been showing you that for over a decade. But at the same time, you can't protect the motor itself from the water and the corrosion and rust. You can't protect the bearings from that at all times. How many times did I use to waterproof a servo? 
find out that it was actually had some condensation in there from the heat that the motor was creating and somehow it just seized and rusted up. Hence why I searched out the uh, Reefs RC servos which are completely waterproof for the fist scale. Yes, I used to use Savox uh, servos. Their fist scale uh, waterproof servos in my opinion, my personal use, they are not good. I don't know, maybe you guys had some good luck with them, but the fifth scale boss and I hate to drag you into that, Ev, but yeah, we both had problems with them all the time. Uh, regardless, so I'm going to go ahead and drop in the servo. You can see the Beast 2000 right here ba -ba -da -da -da, is actually enormous, but it isn't too much longer than the stock servo. And if you look down here, it clears the heim joint no problem at all. Even though there's a bit more of a gap on the regular servo that's down there, this one, it's a little bit less because the case is a little longer. Not a big deal. God, the wind is just howling outside my door. We had a massive, massive dump of snow uh, where it was another uh, 20 centimeters at least. It might have been even more than that uh, where my drifts were huge. And then it started to pour rain. So I'm really enjoying the experience of all four seasons in a single day in the Maritimes. That's why I'm making my shit waterproof. What do you think? Am I doing the right thing by making a trail truck? It doesn't matter. I'm doing it anyway. Must be nice to spend $6,000 on an RC. My car doesn't even cost $6,000. You would be correct. It is nice. Isn't it nice? Such a beautiful vehicle. I can already hear it. He paid $6,000 for that monster truck and he's using shitty ultra plugs. When I could be using XT90s or anything else like EC5s, which probably would be ideal, which is what came on this. Uh, but the batteries actually already came pre-wired with the uh, ultra plugs and I might as well switch them over when I actually have something to switch them over to. Right now I do not. You hear, uh, you can see the voltage meter. There is a two cell LiPo battery in here. The only thing this battery is really powering now, apart from showing the voltage, uh, is the actual receiver and the um, and the uh, brake um, servo. Everything else is starting to get powered. This is a 4300 uh, 3S LiPo plugged into uh, my XT60 plugs right here. This is what's actually a direct power straight down to the Beast 2000s. Now you can see these are installed. I actually used the install screws that came with it and used the original servo saver that's on here right now. You'll ask me maybe why did I not correct the steering links yet uh, so that they're nice and straight, but these are actually the way it comes from the factory. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put on that front plate, but I know you guys are gonna wanna see a difference. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Primal RC Raminator, but when you have not seen it, how about this? Look how fast that is between the two, right? No problem. And this is on 3S LiPo power, which means I'm getting about 1,500 ounces of torque. And that's as fast as I need it to be. So while I'm crawling on rocks or over the creek, uh, then, you know, I'll still will be able to have that torque to turn these big tires. Now, a lot of people might be wondering, like, can you show us the size of, like, the tire? There is my iPhone right there. Uh, it's a, an 11 plus. Here is my head literally beside like it is larger than my head and uh yeah i'm pretty much ready to rock and roll and go outside i'm not saying i'm not jumping my truck but i'm saying i don't have any reason to send it uh and, and just break it for no reason i actually want a purpose uh built couple of trucks so my buddies and i can go trailing with them and maybe do some fucking awesome hill climbs like i would love that but i gotta wait till the springtime for that all right, so here it is, even though I don't have the lights turned on in my shop right now, here is the electric, here is the gas power. You'll see that I've got the large tires on the gasser right now. I switch between the two. But for those that are wondering, this is lighter than this. You lose the engine, you lose the exhaust, you lose the, uh, the uh, back fuel tank, right? 
And although you're gaining, like what, I have one battery up here that now controls the two servos in the front. This also controls the fan right here. Uh, you know, I'm gaining a motor and two batteries. The, it weighs completely different. And plus the, the difference in tire size makes a huge difference in weight as well. Now everything in both of these are stock gearing. I'm gonna leave this one inside today just cause I'm focusing on this build right now, but might as well put the body on it. <laughs> Can you hear the clutch shoes wind down? It's like a turbo. <laughs> it is so slippery out today, guys. It's just all ice on the black tarmac. I thought this was a trail truck. Oh, it is. It is indeed. Hands down. People are gonna be like, you need to get a sound kit for that. And then I'll just pull out the gas powered one. I actually don't think it needs a sound kit at all. I think it sounds awesome by itself. It sounds like the future. And no, I'm not even going full throttle yet, guys. There's just no traction. What a beautiful ride, hey? Well, don't worry, I'm feeling you. Anytime you got a monster truck, you want to jump it. I'm just like any hobby enthusiast, I want to jump it too, but I know in this kind of temperature, it just makes it even worse for possibly destroying things quickly. Monster tires. Now I don't have to worry about those servos giving me any, any issue. What the fuck, look at this, holy shit. If I had a gas powered engine in there, I'd have it be having to worry about um, the snow hitting the hot exhaust and then dripping down onto where the throttle cable would normally be and have a sticking throttle or having to tune it all the time. Who's a big boy? Good, good, good. What the? There's my side by side. That's like my full full-size machine. Wow, I love the sound of those clutch shoes winding down. Oh, sorry, I was paying attention to the actual truck, not the camera. There, camera. Let's put you over here and see if we can get you. What the fuck, it just rips. Oh, almost hit my pool warmer. Okay, let's do a speed run towards us. Let's try to get it to full throttle here. Okay, and go. Oh, I'm in the snow the whole time. <laughs> you know, there's just no way I can't hit a jump, even though it's gonna be a trail truck. Look at this. Damn, it just eats. Oh, high centered on the diff. That's okay. Let's just switch it into reverse. Oh, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to lock those diffs up. Look at that though, all four are turning, except right there, there it's limited slip, there we go. Oh, it's cold out today. Ho, 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 ho. It's cold in the wind. We must do a speed run on the gravel so it has traction. Okay, I'll try to get it up to speed here. I'm trying guys, I'm trying. Get it nice and straight, and action. Dude, right through the deep snow, no problem at all. <laughs> I did not expect that to work, it's super deep here. If it was stuck in the other area, it's like 12 inches deep, oh my god. Oh, hold on, I'll put this down so you can witness the sheer size of this machine. It's like radio deep, deeper than the radio. Is that what she said? I hope not. <laughs> Straight through the snow. This is just pure power. I'm just testing power right now. It starts at the snow and a big dog shit. Look at this. 
Oh, that is so, so sexy. I should start warning people before they watch this show to grab themselves a box of tissues for any kind of cleanup you guys need. I don't even know what runtime is yet on this because I haven't been able to wear out the batteries. It's too cold. But I figured you guys would definitely want to see some action. Woo! Monster truck action. That's full throttle. can hardly wait for warmer weather. <gasps> Icy. Oh. oh, if I only could have overcome. Still learning this truck, still learning. You could have totally just turned and spun yourself up. Yeah, but I love this body so much. Oh, 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 I unplugged my servo. <laughs> and now that my servos are powered independently, this battery will last forever.